You know, no matter, no matter what our political views may be, the people of America understand we cannot continue to have a president who is a pathological liar, who is corrupt, who does not understand our Constitution, and is trying to divide our people up based on the color of their skin, based on their religion, their sexual orientation, or where they were born. And all of that hatred, all of that divisiveness is going to end when together we are in the White House. We are going to win this election because the people of the United States are sick and tired of a massive level of income and wealth inequality. They don't want tax breaks for billionaires and cuts to Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid. The American people understand that if you work 40 hours a week, you should not live in poverty, and that we've got to raise that minimum wage to at least 15 bucks an hour. The American people understand that health care is a human right, not a privilege. And that our administration is going to take on the greed and corruption of the insurance companies and the pharmaceutical industry. And whether they like it or not, we will pass a Medicare for all single pay program. The American people understand that in the year 2020, all of our people, regardless of income, are entitled to get a higher education. And that is why, together, we will make public colleges and universities tuition free and why we will cancel all student debt in America. And we're going to do that through a modest tax on Wall Street speculation. Eleven years ago, we bailed out the crooks on Wall Street. Now it is their time to help the middle class. And unlike the President of the United States, the American people, the American people understand that climate change is not a hoax, but is an existential threat to our country and the entire world. They understand that the time is now for us to take on the fossil fuel industry, to transform our energy system away from fossil fuel to energy efficiency and sustainable energies. And as President of the United States, because this is a global issue, not just an American issue, we are going to speak to the people in China and Russia and countries all over this world and say, maybe, just maybe, instead of spending $1.8 trillion a year on weapons of destruction designed to kill each other, maybe we should pool our resources and fight our common enemy, which is climate change. And the people of America know the time is long overdue for major reforms to a broken and racist criminal justice system. 
We're going to invest in our young people in jobs and education, not more jails and incarceration. And the American people also understand that our immigration system is broken, and together we will pass comprehensive immigration reform and a path towards citizenship.